Lion imagery in Himalayan art is very similar in, um, in how you approach it as to the elephant imagery, which we already discussed. Now, for the lion imagery, we really have um, three topics. We have um, uh, iconography or the iconographic um, attributes. We have uh, decorative symbolic, and then we have narrative. So for the, for the iconographic, we really have to divide that into, into two parts. The first is a lion-faced attribute, and then the second is uh, the lion mount. There are very few deities that have a, a lion face. The most famous, of course, is the Simhamukha um, Dakini, coming out of the Chakrasambara cycle of uh, Tantras originally. Um, then we also, and there's many forms of, of Simhamukha uh, in terms of color. There's a, a very few in terms of number of faces. Generally, she has one face. Uh, we do have um, we do have a Dzongpa tradition where she has uh, three faces, uh, but generally one face. Now, we also have other deities that are called Simhamukha, uh, which are not the meditational deity from the Chakrasamvara Tantra. We have Simhamukha, who is a retinue figure to Sri Devi, the protector uh, uh, goddess. Um, and uh, this, this is just a retinue figure that uh, is one of the two main uh, attendants uh, to Sri Devi. But then we also can have uh, lion-faced dakinis or lion-faced mamos within different collections of uh, peaceful and wrathful deities of the Nyingma. Plus, we can have uh, secondary figures uh, in mandalas where possibly there can be a lion-faced uh, figure. Um, now, we also have uh, the two protector deities, uh, Shinkyong Yabyum, uh, where we have a lion-faced figure. And then, of course, for the, the um, Hindu religion, we have Nara Simha, one of the, the avatars of Vishnu. So those are, those are the, the figures that have a lion face. Now, for the lion mount, here we have many. We have, uh, there are many, many different Buddhist deities that ride a lion. And then there's also a large number of Hindu deities. Uh, most famous Hindu one is uh, Durga, rides a lion. But within uh, Buddhism, we have, uh, we have uh, Vaishravana riding a lion, is one of the most common in art. Then we have uh, Simhanada Lokeshvara. We have also the Maui uh, Senge, the, the lion's roar Manjushri, who rides a lion. And then we have uh, uh, Jnana Dikini uh, from the Chaturpita uh, Tantra. And then we have a number of, um, of uh, worldly protector deities, such as uh, Dorje Legpa, uh, Machin Pomra, uh, and Tsering Ma, there's many others who, who ride a lion. So, so the, this is uh, the, the um, uh, iconographic um, aspect of, uh, of lion imagery. Now for decorative and symbolic, we really have the lion throne. The lion throne is uh, really the main throne of uh, Buddhism, and that's what Shakyamuni Buddha sits on, and also Vairochana Buddha. The lion throne can also be just a generic throne for any Buddha to sit on, especially when that Buddha is not um, uh, specifically uh, 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 stated that they sit on a, on a peacock throne or, or, a, or a horse or a kinara or some other type of throne. The lion throne is generic. Uh, we also have um, uh, the lion can appear in uh, Torana, in the throne back. Uh, and then in the Bun religion, we also have three different types of lions. We have uh, the snow lion, uh, then we have the gold lion, and then we have the conch lion. The conch or the conch is, uh, is the shell from the sea. So we have these three types of lions. So whether or not the, the snow lion actually originates with um, early Tibetan culture or specifically with the Bun religious tradition, um, I'm not knowledgeable on that to say. Now, uh, thirdly, we have narrative, where lion imagery appears in, in uh, narrative. So we, we have the Jataka tales and the Avadana stories, uh, where there are a number of, of different um, uh, situations and vignettes that appear in, in art, uh, where uh, lions play a role. So this is just a quick overview of, uh, of lion imagery in Himalayan art.